And you know what? That's a load of old shit as well. So I don't know what's going on. Is it a knitting day today? It is. I'm not a showering day, obviously. <laughs> yes, I'm knitting for twins, so I better hurry up because they're due at the end of August. Well, you best get your finger out then. <laughs> I had. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hector, you're pretty much always chilling out. Mm. <laughs> he knows it's Sunday. <laughs> Every day Sunday to Hector. <laughs> Typical Hector action shot. Well, it's a lovely summer's day here at the marina and I left the flaps open. So it's getting a bit moist. Always get a bit moist when, when you have your flaps open. Hector's excited because things have been happening today. We've had some of our boards put on. Shall we have a look? There we go. Just one left. Feels very bizarre to be standing on the back decks of Hannah again. Does it feel sturdy? Yeah, I think so. Hector wants to come and play. Yeah, so we're getting there. Splendid, I say. Now, I'm not sure whether this is a finished, finished article, but I'm not sure they fit that well, to be honest with you. Do you see what I mean? There's a big gap here. So it doesn't actually fit. It's hard for you to see here, but I can see a massive hole there. These don't line up. Look, as we go across, that doesn't line up. It needs to come up to the top, but this hole now stops it from coming up to the top. There's big gaps there. I say these don't align, look. I don't know what to say really. I'll see what Dave says tomorrow, but they feel a bit wobbly as well. Anyway, we'll see, I don't know. Sunday afternoon and I've been watching F1 and I've always kind of thought well lately the last couple of seasons F1's become a bit shit and it really it's become a uh, more about this eco nonsense virtue signaling and all this bullshit about at the start they do all this taking the knee and we race as one no you don't you race to make money and you race to make it to, to be famous so cut the bullshit it's just nonsense I hate politics in sports it's getting on my tits but anyway apart from that I thought, well, I'll watch a bit of IndyCar because that was on. This is the first time I've watched IndyCar for years. And it was on after F1. And you know what? <laughs> That's a load of old shit as well. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, on another thing, we've just um, signed up for um, a new social media platform called Getter, which is G-E-T-T-R, which is an alternative to Twitter. And I believe we're the first narrowboat people to um, sign up for it. It's still in beta, but you can sign up for it. And it is like a clone of Twitter, and uh, they're allowing free speech. And I'm all for any platform, no matter how diverse, how obscure, that is gonna try and protect our free speech. Now, you're never all gonna agree with me, and I'm never all gonna agree with you. And I know that some of these platforms have some abhorrent views, but so does Facebook, so does Twitter. Um, but I don't like this nonsense of culling you, banning you, saying, oh, well, you're not allowed to say that. Well, why aren't I allowed to say that? 
So yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with joining that. We'll see how that goes. I don't know how it's going to go, to be honest. It'll probably be a load of old nonsense and it'll probably fall down like Parler did. But I mean, we signed up for MeWe, um, as a lot of you know, which is alternative to Facebook. And you know what? I think it's going brilliantly. I have so much more fun on MeWe than I do on Facebook. There's no nonsense. Everyone seems to go. We've got, we've got a nice little community group going on there. And uh, I'm not constantly under the threat of being banned. I've got another couple of days to go on my Facebook ban. So that's the third 30-day ban I've had this year. Um, I'm probably going to get banned completely, and I, I did put a poll on me. Where how long do you think it's going to take me to get banned? 24 hours a week, a month, or am I going to behave myself? I think we all know what's going to happen. Anyway, that's about it for this Sunday afternoon. We're going to have a curry now. Um, so it's like my birthday, birthday, birthday dinner after my birthday, if that makes sense. Yeah, because we, we were going to have a curry yesterday. Well, we thought we were. But then obviously Derek and all that, like I mean, we had a really lovely day with those guys. Had a few beers, and then we just kind of had um, some nibble food. We had some, Lee just cooked lots of stuff. She's such a good girl, honestly. She's such a proper good woman. And uh, yeah, she cooked us all something to eat. And uh, so we're having our curry today. So I'm having what's called a boss lamb curry, which has got three chili marks after it. So I'm gonna have a Bernie body tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what Lee's gonna have. I'm gonna have my onion barge, she's gonna have me Papa Doms. So I'm quite excited. I tell you what, I'm a lot more excited about my curry than I'm about this blooming IndyCar nonsense. They've got windscreens, for Christ's sake. What on earth's happened to blooming motorsports? It's become gay, I say. I'm not allowed to say that, am I? But it has, you know what I mean. It's a bit poncy now. Bye. It's Monday, and I'm standing on the back. Shall I show you what's been done? Right, as you can see, all the backboards are on now. And uh, what I was talking about yesterday has come to light. And this one really has got quite a big gap now. So this one is being replaced once this one's bolted in. Now let me explain that. Because this seat goes through the bottom uh, and it goes through a steel plate that's been welded on here. So that bolts through both. And we can just lift this off by undoing these. It'll actually lift off and then we can still take that board out when we need to. So once the other side's done here as well, this will probably pull this board across slightly and then this one will be cut to the correct size so there's a little bit of boo-boo but I'll be using the off cuts from this to make my boxes for here so obviously the front of this is all off that will be completely rebuilt and obviously this one's destroyed even more we've got our holes which I needed so the electrics get mounted in here or here and um, you know the plug thing and under there is probably just a hole because I just wanted another hole a um, little bit of ventilation for the engine because these the things I put on here do have grills on um, and we may move the um, greaser the stern gland greaser up here so I can reach it just be under there and uh, I'll be able to fill it up from there rather than going in the engine all the time to do that so we are getting there there's obviously a lot of tidying up needs to be done we got to sort out this edge here and um, because obviously the boards did actually originally come up to here because I was sitting proud sitting on top of all this um, so yeah so we've got to sort that out or mastic behind it so nothing can get down and uh, that's where we are I think. I think that's all I've got to report today on the boat but we are getting there tomorrow she will be drivable again we're having the Mawson or Morse Mawson here on the metal work so when I sit down here these chairs move around look at adjustable height can lock them in they have foot rests and they'll be done and there's Liz. Hello Liz, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you have a lovely time out on your boat? Marvellous. Good. We'll be allowed to go out soon. Okay. It'll be working again tomorrow. It's good. Alright, eh? It looks nice. It'll get there. Yes. Well then petal, I'm going in now. It's beer o'clock. Uh, well, yeah. You've had beer o'clock, haven't you? I need a couple. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, darling. Yeah. Bye. And look, my birthday presents turned up. This is my speed editor so I can wing, go wild with the timeline with this and do inserts and different cameras, all in my editing software. So I'm excited about that. And also look what else I've got. I've got a new handle for me Blackmagic Pro. Camera thingy doodah. And when I swing it round, I've got one set of clamps here which keep this lead in so they won't pull out. And also a little one here there, so I can't pull this one out. So now, add a smaller cable. So now it's just about super duperly done. Happy days, bye. I'm just about to film Lee, but she's got naked.
Look, I can see your bum. Now I can see your nellies. I'm going to have to get my digital noise thing out again, aren't I? Go away. I was just going to say we're having steak. I was going to say, and also I was going to say Lee hasn't gone to wardrobe again before going on video, has she? Because she was in all her horrible clothes. Bye. Look, our flowers are coming out. Aren't they very pretty? Got some yellow ones over here as well. Look a bit dry, but I don't know why they look dry because it's been raining. They're looking rather lovely. We've also got a lot of spiders web. Can you see the little spider? Lee's wiggling the boat. And these are looking rather lovely too. And obviously Hector's looking beautiful as well, aren't you, mate? You're a very handsome hound, I say. Very handsome indeed. The ones on the top of the boat are looking rather nice as well. Very beautiful, I say. You right there, Hector? You've seen something, haven't you? What is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? See him off. You're so mighty. Oh, look what we've got. We've got some eggs, we've got some chips, and we've got some steak. Is it ribeye, Lee? Mm. From Aldi. Mm. Less than three pounds. Lee, you look a bit cleaner now, and not naked. Is it nice? Mm. Yes, thank you. You haven't got your stilton on it? No, I couldn't be bothered in the end. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Lee, yes. that was really beautiful. It was. Do you remember last night, Lee, when we had a curry? Yes. I suffered from my curry. Not on the bottom wise, it did something to my tummy, didn't it? It wasn't particularly hot curry, but I suffered today. But do you remember what else happened last night? Those two films we watched. Oh, we did it again. Were they the worst films in the history ever of everything? <laughs> we have a knack, don't we? We do. What did we watch? Something about the dead don't want to die or something. It was <laughs> not, supposed to be funny. Is that not dead yet or something like that? With no, the, the dead, uh, oh, the dead, oh, yeah, the dead don't want to die. The dead don't die. What a load of old shit. <laughs> and what was the other one? Someone that escapes your popolips or a cockolips, a cropolips. and something meet the apocalypse oh my good god that was was that on that was on prime wasn't it yeah they were supposed that to be was, comedians that was horrific and it got four stars it got four stars well i'd love to know who them nutters are that reckon that was a four star movie honestly go and watch it just for just to put yourself through some trauma and then the other one the um i don't want to die or whatever it was was oh, it was another weird thing that At was on that Netflix. was stupid funny in mm, it was mildly funny. <laughs> Lisa, I'll tell you, it weren't anywhere near as funny as me. <laughs> That's it, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> it's turned out nice again. Lee, yes. did you know that it's summer? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Mm. <laughs> oh, at least my plants are getting a water. Yeah, because let's be honest, you don't water them, do you? <laughs> She's not great with plants. <laughs> They're looking all right, my... Have you watered them at all? Yeah, Apart well, from when you put them in? No. Yeah, bye. <laughs> well, I'm sitting on my tractor seat on the back deck having a thirsty ferret while it pees down with rain. What a ghastly evening, I say. Have you skinned your way into the main bed, Hector? I don't know who's more stupid, us or you. Are you a mighty hound? Nighty night, everybody. See you in the morning. Love you. Bye. It's 4am in the morning and have a guess what, we got woke up. I could hear this noise going <coughs> really quietly and uh, I've had the bed up and everything. I said, Lee, I can hear something. So I woke Lee up, bless her. And it was a slug above my head. Horrified. Bye. Just thought I'd tell you.
4 a.m. in the morning. I was going to sing Pipes from uh, Pipes from Baghdad then, but you wouldn't have understood. Bye. Bagpipes from Baghdad, actually. I got mixed up, but it is early. See you later, bye. And what do you think about the interruption, Hector? Hey, what do you think about the interruption, the rude interruption? And they just informed me it's 3 a.m. in the morning. They, can you remember the words? It's 3 a.m. in the morning. It's bad parts from Baghdad. <laughs> yeah, all right. There's no me eat, and there's definitely me eat. Bad parts from Baghdad. Lou, what are you doing now? You're putting sun cream on. Not sun cream, no. Huh. Where I had knee pads on yesterday. And they kind of, it's hurting behind my knees. Oh dear. Right then, bye, that's enough. Hello. See you later. <laughs> what strange time to vlog. <laughs> As you can see, I've been digging out all the rust on the side, wire brushed it all, and um, I've just treated it with some rust inhibitor. I used the Loctite one. And once this is all dry and okay, all sorted, I shall start filling some of the worst parts. A lot of it get covered up by the sand paint. Paint, sand paint. So all will be good. But yeah, she looks a bit horrible at the moment. But she's getting there. As you can see, we've got the Mawson in place in its final position. Obviously, it all needs painting and all that sort of stuff, but it's in, and I think it's working. And Dave's just trying to sort out the exhaust, which is uh, down, well, it's not down there, it's out, outside, because we need to twist it somehow to make it fit. We're having a wee bit of trouble with the exhaust and getting it all plumbed in again. But Dave's off heating another part of it up. So hopefully we'll see if we can get it in later. He's alive! I 
even know where Matt's going, to be honest with you. But it's going wherever the boat wants to go. because Hector's not used to the noise of the engine, so he's going mental. the end of another day in the tunnel. What have we done today? Done actually loads. I've done loads today. I'm absolutely cream crackered. I've been sanding. As you saw earlier I've uh, been sanding the gunnel so I've done both sides now and I've just put some of that weird stuff on it to stop any rust, little rust things on there. And then on the back you can see we now have both seats and uh, we're struggling with the fuel cap at the back to get that at the right level. So that's a bit of an ongoing thing. There's uh, been a few other bits and bobs done underneath. Um, obviously with this one we had to weld, well not me, we, this is Royal We, Dave welded another plate so that chair is bolted through the wooden into an another steel plate. And then uh, that's about it really. Yeah, I'm going to settle down now. I'm going to have a couple of beers um, with my old mate Derek and watch the football. Watch England in the semi-finals against Denmark. Wonder how that one's gonna go. Who knows? Bye. Look where we are, everyone. We're back in our home mooring. We're not here permanently because she's still not finished, but I wanted to be back here for the weekend. So it's Thursday. So um, Dave's not here tomorrow. I don't want anyone else touching the boat apart from Dave, to be honest with you. But look, we've got our little table up. We've got our seats. I put the Desmo in today. And, uh, it's happy days, isn't it, Lee Lawson? <laughs> and Hector seems to be staying on board, which is encouraging. <laughs> Hectorio, the mightiest of hounds. Happy days, I say, Billy. That's rather nice, isn't it? We might have a nice sunset tonight. It's nice to be back here. <laughs> Lee, what? what are you doing? Just don't walk towards me. Sorry. This is very shallow focus. You don't Sorry. understand about cinema photography, <laughs> photography. I was just wondering whether this was part of our bee bomb. And it's hedge. Bee bomb? Yeah, that we planted. I only like know about planted. sea bombs. A seed, well it's a seed bomb. No, a sea bomb. No. Well, it might not have been a bee bomb. A This hedge wound wart. It's a hedge nettle. So it may be because bees, long tongued bumblebees, like it. Oh, okay, bye. This is what Lee's on about the nettle <laughs> things. Hector. Hector? Have you been a naughty boy? 
Have you been irritating the fisherists? <laughs> yes. And running off and barking at people? Yes. You've been trusted tonight and you've let yourself down <laughs> at the final hurdle, I say. It's quite a nice light here, isn't it, Lee? <laughs> you don't know, do you? You look rather resplendent, by. <laughs> Lee's bought another new plant, I say. Another one she's not going to water and that's going to die a long, slow death. Bye. Filming! <sighs> tired again, I can't believe it's Friday. Um, it's about half three or something like that. And I've been working pretty much all morning and up until now on the boat. I had to go to the manor to collect some um, grip tape or some anti-slip tape. It's supposed to be 10 metres, but it's nowhere near 10 metres. Obviously, Chinese don't know what 10 metres is. It's more like five. So I'm a bit irritated with that. So now I haven't got enough to do what I wanted to do with them. Um, but I'll show you what else I've been doing anyway. It looks like I ain't done a lot, but I'll tell you what, I'm absolutely cream crackered. It's taken forever. The silly little things. It's the way this boat's been going. Right, first up, you see this is horrific now. <laughs> so I've sanded all this off and um, I had to take the battens off of there. I'll show them in a minute. But the mount and mastic and everything that was used on these and to get that lid off, I'm going to keep that lid, was unbelievable. So getting that off alone took me probably, I don't know, two hours, I would have thought. So, but I have been, uh, I've got these two bits off, let's find them. So these battens, and obviously I sanded these, the bits that go there like that. I was going to paint these today, but it's just looking like rain, so I don't do that. So that's the main thing I've done. Um, I suppose that's all I've really done. It doesn't seem like a lot, does it? I have got one little issue. If we look down here, you can see this is a bit, hmm. It's not soft, it's just that it's coming away. So what I've got, I've actually got some sealant, a special sort of sealant and waterproof for dodgy wood. So um, it's no good when you've got dodgy wood, let me tell you. So then obviously all along here as well doesn't look right because the boards used to come up to the bottom of the door. So I'm not quite sure how we're gonna tackle that, but obviously it needs that needs sanding. But as I say, it's gonna rain again in a minute and uh, treating with the wood treatment. And uh, then what's probably going to happen, I'm going to have some sort of aluminium strip across there or maybe lead. There's, I know you can get some like roofers stuff that you could stick along there. Then that will fold into the uh, channel that's down there and uh, make that good. But obviously I have to um, sort out the wood before, you know, the, treat the wood before I do that or else it's just going to fall apart. That's about it for today. I think that's it about for the vlog actually. So I shall bode you a good farewell or whatever you say. Basically I'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, and I forgot to say, do you remember I said that um, Lee's not very good with plants? We can see it started to wilt a bit already. This was almost dead this morning because Lee hasn't watered it. So I've watered it and I've brought it back to life again. I don't think Lee should ever have plants. She kills them. She's a murderer. Bye.